Well, ladies and gentlemen, come gather around, come gather around, come gather around. Today is getting close to winter, a time when all good boys and girls put their toys away and or refine them. This one's gonna rest for a little bit. We're gonna put a cover on it. Let's go. So US Car Cover gave me a holler and asked if I'd be interested in checking out one of their car covers. And on their website, they list classic cars and classic trucks. And I happen to have a classic truck. So I'm intrigued. And checking what's available, I said yes, and they sent one. And using a car cover, I don't think you want to have anything dirty under the cover. I want the cover clean. Anything that's resting on the paint should be clean. So the first thing we're going to do is wash the vehicle. This is really weird for me because I wash my vehicles in March. It's not March. However, for this video, I'm actually going to break tradition and wash my vehicle. Once a year, this is it. All right, stop that, stop that, stop that. Just just wash the truck, okay? So, washing her down, scrub it to dub dub, and then uh, let's see if we can figure out this car cover. Came in a nice box, checking out the instructions, because I believe in reading instructions. Got a couple little trinkets there that I'll show you a little bit later on, uh, but it was pretty straightforward to figure out. Now, I do confess that my only car cover experience is for a Lotus Super 7 replica that I built a number of years ago. And I went down to a chain department store and I bought the cheapest, smallest cover that they sold. And it's actually disappointing to use because it really doesn't fit the vehicle at all. This apparently is going to fit the vehicle. So I'm playing with it and I want to make sure I do a good job. So I read the instructions and I'm following it, figuring it out, trying to figure out exactly what to do and actually it's really really easy to do and it's like somebody fitted this to the vehicle because it kind of fits it's a cover it's not like spandex but it's it actually fits like it was meant for this vehicle I'm impressed that was easy so let's do a little walk around these are the mirrors uh, there's straps that you put down underneath if you're out in the weather so it doesn't blow off. That's my spare tire, which is actually the wrong location for this wheelbase of a truck. I've got the fancy sporty bumpers on the back. It just snaps on underneath there. I've got the passenger side mirror, which was not standard on these, an option, I believe. But it just clips on and fits. And enough room that you can kind of smudge things around however you feel it needs to. And I'm putting the clips on just to see how it all works. I didn't strap it down super tight because it's not going to be out in the weather. Then I'm reading the instructions on how to uncover my vehicle. And it's really, you just flip the sides up into about a two foot wide um, bundle and then just roll it up. If you're pretty aggressive, you could roll it pretty tightly and fit in the bag. This was kind of aggressive, but not really. It's kind of medium, I guess. Medium effort here. And it did fit in the bag pretty decent. I guess it's kind of like a sleeping bag for your car or a truck. There is these little bits for your radio antennas. Uh, an extra clamp. Strap, I guess. And then it has this padlock chain to, for it to make it a little bit more secure and keep the honest people honest. So I just realized I need to do a conclusion with the thing covered, so I covered it. Then the question is, how long does it take to put the cover back on? Freaking seconds. Like, if you fold it up the way it shows in the instructions and roll it up, all you gotta do is uh, pull it out of the bag, flop her down, unroll it, hook the front end over the front of the car, drag the back end over the back end, and in freaking seconds the whole thing is covered. I mean, you can strap it down and everything, but if you just want to quickly protect it from the elements, it's pretty freaking quick. So uh, that's cool. It fits reasonably well. I don't know if they have different styles of covers for the different body styles, but I did talk to them about a step side 
short bed and they said yep and I'm like oh okay but it's got the step side mounted spare tire except mine is the wrong fender it's a long bed fender with the spare tire mounted lower than normally would be so it's the wrong fender for this truck and they said send us a picture I sent them a picture and they said yep we're sending it and here it is and it covers it it fits it and it should be able to accommodate a lot of even bizarre things that you might have done for your vehicle for custom stuff. It's nice and soft and squishy on the inside and you want to make sure you're not dragging the inside on the ground. Keep it nice and soft for your paint. Uh, outsides is really good. I've, I've slept in tents that were uh, less quality than this cover. So this is pretty impressive. I like it. I will likely keep it under the cover, certainly when I'm working in here to keep stuff off of it. If this intrigues you, link down below where you can pick one of these up. Don't be afraid to talk to them to refine your order. I'm going to see about getting one for my Super 7 because uh, that's a unique one. So uh, check it out if this intrigues you, especially if you've got cars to store because you might as well protect the paint and keep your car protected, locked up even if you have to. Uh, I'm going to keep mine inside. As always, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you again.